Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, again, I'm trying to do a uh, trying to do something a little different with the filming aspect until I can get the um, the logistics figured out for the camera that I do have. Um, everything that I've filmed thus far has been from my phone. My uh, I have a Samsung Galaxy Note 5, and it's just be doing pretty good or pretty well. Um, but, uh, yeah, if you're not subscribed to my channel already, please go ahead and subscribe. Also, don't forget to click on the notification bell so you know when I do upload new videos. Also, if you want to see more videos like this, or you just like haul videos in general, go ahead and select that thumbs up option. Now, I will be linking below in the description box everything that I mentioned in the video, as well as uh, links to my social media and other stuff that I think would be cool to uh, let y'all know about. So, getting started with the haul, here we go. Now, the first thing I have is from e.l.f. I actually just got this one today. Um, this is the e.l.f. Daily Face Cleanser with Purified Water. Um, no parabens, no sulfates, no phthalates, and e.l.f. is cruelty free. I'm almost positive that e.l.f. is cruelty free, um, which is a plus in my book. I try to stay as cruelty free possible with everything I use, um, and I stay tuned to the cruelty free kitty blog to stay up to date on what is and what isn't cruelty free. Now I got this only because, um, my 10 year old daughter needs to start washing her face and um, you know when you're 10 you really don't want to so we figured you know I let her go and choose so this is what she chose we found this one at Walmart I believe this was four dollars it will it and everything else will be linked below in the description box next up is uh, another elf product this is the cream eyeliner in black um, I've tried cream and gel eyeliners in the past and I ended up having to get rid of all of a lot of them because they were not cruelty free products. So here we go, we're going to try this one. So I can do this without the glasses. Um, we can get comfortable. Next up, um, this is kind of fun. This is a mini, blend, uh, mini blender sponge. This is actually a repurchase item. Um, I got this from... Walgreens. They have uh, they have a they have a mini side panel on the front part of their uh, display section that has a lot of beauty tools for uh, two dollars and cheaper. Um, I believe this one was a dollar ninety nine. And I use this. Let's see, it's uh, not made with natural rubber latex. I don't know if this brand is cruelty free or not. I haven't been able to find much on it. Um, but I use this for applying concealer or if I go a little overboard with my eyeshadow primer then I kind of use it dampen to diffuse it. So there's that. Next up is a new eyeshadow palette from Circa. Circa Beauty is um, it's a Walgreens exclusive brand. Creative director is Ava Mendez and uh, they're based out of LA which isn't yeah they're based out of LA. So I, I haven't used it yet, as you can see, it's still in the packaging. Um, but I will use it. I've, I've been wanting to use this ever since I bought it, but I wanted to do a haul video on it before I cracked it open. I will also, um, I have it on my list of videos to do a video on just all of my Circa Beauty products, as well as a video on just all of my Color Prevails products, which is another Walgreens exclusive brand. So this is the Art of Glamour eyeshadow palette in blush romance. Next up, speaking of color prevails, is, where did it go? Where did it go? Aha. Is this product right here. This is going to run you about $9 at Walgreens. This is the Color Wash Comfort Balm in Berry Wash. Um, I always try to try to buy this one, but I'm, it just never stays in my brain, okay Tam, let's go ahead and get this. Um, 
Every now and again, Walgreens will have Color Prevails on sale. Sometimes I buy one, get one half off. Sometimes buy one, get one free. Sometimes 40% off. Sometimes, uh, uh, sometimes 50% off. It just depends on the week or the month. Um, you know how those types of sales go. And I'm trying to get the security sticker off of it, but it got stuck on there pretty good. Um, so this is one I've been wanting to try. They also have one in nude. They have a pink one and a purple one. Um, but I usually wear red lipsticks and so on, so I went with a red color wash. Next up is a pack. This, this is also a repurchase. This I might actually put into a future makeup giveaway or just in my makeup giveaway duffel bag of makeup for giveaways. This is the flower sp uh, package of flower sponge wedges. Um, again, you can find this in the same spot as you can find that little mini uh, makeup sponge. So um, I really like these for setting my under eye, doing any kind of uh, cut contouring, highlighting, whatever down here. Um, and I still haven't gone through this whole package from when I first purchased, purchased it a month ago. So they last quite a while, as long as you're good to them. All right, next up, okay, this is gonna be like a set of three. Okay, right now, okay, today is February the 24th, the 24th. Um, and as of right now, as well as Saturday the 25th, these Wet n Wild products are three for $10. Um, these are the Mega Last Liquid Catsuit Matte lipsticks. This one's in the shade Berry Recognize. Um, I've been trying out different colors for lipsticks just to kind of branch out of my reds that I really like. And as you've been, probably seen on my Instagram, I've been doing a lot of berry. Um, I really like the berry one. Um, this one is the shade Misty and Fierce. It's a really nice red. And um, this darker one, this more vampy looking one, is called Goth Topic. Um, of course, based, you know, the play on words of the of the store Hot Topic, or as like my, or as my husband and I like to refer to it as Goth in a Box. So there's those. Next up, this is one that an item that I just bought today at Walmart. Um, I was doing some grocery shopping for dinner, and I just happened to go toward. It happened. Okay, I gravitated toward the cosmetic alcove that they've got and realized that I'm almost out of this. So, and it lasts so long. Oh my God, it lasts for so long. So this is a repurchase. Um, this is in the shade light. This is the Hard Candy Glamouflage Heavy Duty Concealer. Um, and a little really does go a long way. There have been times where I've accident accidentally over applied it and my face is Oh my god, pale and white, and it's just not natural. So, I really like this stuff, so I went ahead and repurchased it. Goodbye. Um, again, it will be linked below with any kind, uh, or with, you know, where you can purchase it, and the price of how much it is. Um, also, I haven't tried this before. This is also by Hard Candy. This is the Glamouflage. Uh, invisible camouflage foundation. Um, I have not tried this one before. It says it's a transforming liquid to powder foundation that absorbs oil, camouflages imperfections, and delivers a long-lasting velvet finish. So, um, I'm kind of excited to try this one, and um, I'll let y'all know what I think. Uh, yeah. Um, and I will eventually do videos on products that I've already called so let you know my final opinion on them, how often I use them, things like that. I do have a lot of ideas for videos, it's just a matter of sitting down and getting them done. Um, I do work two jobs, or I work a full-time job, four to five days a week, and then I work at Ulta one to two days a week on top of that, plus making time for my family. My family comes first, they're why I do everything. So, I'm trying. I'm trying really, really hard. Okay, so next up is the uh, new from Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. Um, now I did buy the concealer stick from this line a couple weeks ago and I can't find it anywhere. I used it once and I can't find it anywhere now. So yeah, 
So we got this one. I will link this below as well as everything else, as I've said already, will be linked below with prices. Um, yeah, and I love that they are cruelty free as well. So that's awesome. Um, let's see what else do I have here. Um, I recently saw, I've recently seen in quite a few videos that the Milani Baked Blush in, um, in Luminoso is a dupe for a higher end product. I don't remember what that product is. If you do, please comment below what it is. <laughs> All I remember is it's a dupe for a high end product. And it's even better than the high end product that it's a dupe for. So I would love to see that below if you know what it's, what it's for. Um, this is the e.l.f. 3-in-1 Mascara in Very Black. It's got a nifty little ball tip. I haven't used a mascara wand like that before, but the, um, the Mali Rep at Ulta last week showed me how that kind of a brush should be correctly used, and now I can't wait to use it because it got a ton, a ton of lashes. So, it's supposed to lengthen, define, and volumize. Now, I don't need help with the lengthening, but the volumizing and the defining, I think, is where I need the most help. So, this is going to be fun. Um, almost done. Yay! And I'm at 11 and a half minutes. Okay, so this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This is in the, in the shade Shell Ivory. Um, this one's interesting. I know you've already seen it all over YouTube. I find it very interesting because of the applicator. Um, you can definitely, it's, it's, a, it's a spatula. Um, so, yeah. I have used it already this past week. I've used it every day this week. I do really like it. It takes some getting used to, but it's a lot easier for me to use than the, uh, than the NYX liquid foundation drops. I couldn't, um, I couldn't get, could not get those to work very well. So, next up is another new product from Cirque Beauty. This is the Style Master Tinted Brow Gel Mascara in the shade Blonde. Um, now, with the deal that I made with my daughter, I told her I would not dye my hair so long as she didn't cut her hair or ask to get her hair cut. So, as you can see, my natural hair color is coming in and it's like this dark blonde, so maybe this will match and you can actually see my eyebrows because you can't really can't really see them that well but this is nine dollars you can find it again at select Walgreens stores as Circuit Beauty is a it's a Walgreens exclusive brand um, and I can't wait to do those two videos for you guys later of all of my Color Prevails products and all of my Circuit Beauty products and why I love them so much um, Okay, so it looks like, last but not least, um, I don't know if this if this is a dupe for anything really, but it's uh, it's the Milani Powder Blush. It's just a regular powder blush. It's got the shape of a rose on there. And the shade Coral Cove. Again, I'm trying to use more coral shades with my, uh, for my blushers, for my blush, um, just because... I know y'all really can't see, but um, the pink, uh, the pink based blushes really don't look that great with my skin tone. I don't think they do. I, I really don't think they do. So I've been trying a lot of these coral type shades. I'm trying to look for a lot of these coral shades and I'm really hopeful. Um, now Grenda will got me started on looking for coral shades of course were the um were for two two face uh products they were the sweet peach palette as well as the papa don't peach individual blush i love how those go on i love the shades i love the uh, i love the tone of those uh, of those shades so maybe it'll go better um and once this grows out um Maybe my skin won't look nearly as washed out because one of the reasons why I color my hair is because my natural hair color washes out my skin tone. And it just. Blah, 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 blah. Anyhow, so hopefully using. Um, what is this? Oh. 
hopefully using the coral shades will make it so that that doesn't happen when my hair eventually grows out. Okay, so stuff on my face, if you're really interested. Um, I did the uh, the uh, hydrating mineral veil from Barrow Minerals powder again, and the color icon by, uh, in Reserve Your Cabana by Wet n Wild again. Um, and I, I stuck with my Circa Dual Focus Mascara in Extreme Black. Um, but I added a little something to it for today. I, um, I took the... Oh crap, I forgot to bring in the Jordana stuff. Because I also picked up the Jordana um, Highlight and Go, as well as the Sculpt and Go um, sticks, crayon stick things. But I, used the, I don't like the highlighter one for highlighter, but it does work nicely for an eyeshadow base. I don't know how you can how well you can see that. And then I used um, a NYX uh, eyeshadow single and like a shimmery uh, taupe color. Yeah, shimmery taupe color for the crease and just washed that on there. And then I found uh, my lipstick queen. I don't remember what shade name it is, but it's the red one. Um, <laughs> so there's that. Oh, see, you can see my wrinkles. Look at all that. Oh. Okay. Anyway, so everything will be linked below. Links to everything I listed in this video, links to everything on my face, links to stuff that I think needs a bit more recognition, like all my geeky stuff that I absolutely love, holds a special place in my heart. Um, website where, I, where you can find glasses frames for as cheap as $6.95. Seriously. And it it's a great service. I've been using them for years. So all that will be linked below and uh, as well as my social media. You know, just, just open the description box. You, won't, you shouldn't be too terribly disappointed. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell so you know whenever I upload a video. And give it a thumbs up if you like it. Um, I also enjoy reading comments below when they're left. So uh, yeah, there we go. That's the end of this video. And with any luck, I'll be able to get um, a couple others filmed and uploaded soon. I know I say that a lot. I know. But there you go. Anyhow, you guys have a great day, a night, evening, whatever it is, whatever time it is where you are when you're watching this. And I will see you next time. <laughs>